Sundubu means silken tofu or soft tofu. These kind of stone pot silken tofu restaurants are pretty much in every single Korean American community in America. They might have meat in them, they might have seafood, some of them have dumplings or curry. And this place that we're going to, they actually have a very special version using the quote unquote army stew, which uses spam and hot dogs, and they combine that with sundubu jjigae. When you get silken tofu stew, you're gonna get a really nice spread. This is, I think, chili with anchovies. Ooh, it's nice. These anchovies, these dried anchovies, they're the thing that really gives it a lot of flavor. Mm, these things are so addictive, they're like little crack. A mm. little bit of fried tofu, sesame, mayo, vinegar. Mmm, it's really good. The tofu's a little firmer, so it kind of holds together. The fried bit is um, very, very thin. Not super crispy, but I think it just, the tofu just soaks up all the oil. Man, I gotta try some kimchi. What's wrong with me? Dang, these are pretty huge pieces. They have oysters in here. That's what that fishy flavor was coming from. Woo. This is the star right here, raw crab. They cut it up into little bite-sized pieces so you can suck the flesh out. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Nice kick. The meat itself is really sweet and tender. Melts in your mouth, truly. I'm gonna go for this fish. The meat itself is very flaky. It's definitely a challenge to eat, especially if you're not used to using uh, metal chopsticks. This is for you, Harabaji. My grandfather would take that fried fish and just eat the whole thing clean. Not one piece, only the bones are left. He would call me like almost every month. Oh, like, take me out for some sundubu. So I'd go pick him up and we would have this whole array of food. My grandfather would always get the mushroom version because he didn't eat meat. He died when he was 96. Up until his mid 90s, the guy was finishing up everything. He was eating more than me. And he loved it. I could tell that when I took him out and he was eating this dish with me, it's when he was the happiest. I'm, I'm definitely ready for some sundubu now. Mm. When you get your sundubu, you're gonna crack an egg right on top. I feel like you kinda need the egg because the thing is freaking boiling hot when it comes out and the, the room temperature egg just kind of instantly tempers the top. What I like to do is you take the stew and you kind of overturn it. So the egg goes on the bottom and it keeps cooking. This is your classic hemur sundubu or seafood silken tofu stew. Mussels, there's shrimp, there's clams. These are oysters. You know, I don't usually see this dish with oysters, so I think they've made a really nice version here. See, this is very bland, but it's sweet and it's delicious and contrasted with this super salty, delicious, savory thing. I like to eat them not just separately, but together. What I love about silken tofu, which is you know very different than uh, like a firm tofu, which you would generally, you know, you could fry that and grill it. It's just, it's like a block. The silken tofu is almost like a liquid. This tofu, it's, it's bland, but the texture is gorgeous. It's rich and comforting and it becomes a vehicle for the rest of the stew, which is just laden with umami flavor. It's so good. This is pudechige, but with sundubu. So pudechige is actually army stew, and it is unique because it has a bunch of canned meats in them. You got hot dog, spam, they put a little bit of kimchi, got some soybeans. It's really only possible because of the Korean War. Uh, the American GIs would come and their food, you know, would be spam or these canned meats. And Koreans were like, man, that stuff's pretty good. And we should put it in our stews. This is an interesting combination of those two ideas. That is pretty crazy. That, this is an innovation I can get behind. This is very good. That meatiness, that fake smokiness works really well in this. I like it. You can frequently get a combo, right? You can get a little bit of tofu, and you get this dish, marinated short rib. Oh, that's awesome. Very tender. You're not gonna eat this whole thing by yourself. You're gonna have your own bowl of tofu, and that's yours. But this is kind of the, the main dish for everyone. 
The thing is with Sundubu restaurants, they're just a surefire hit. You know, you have something that you know Koreans are gonna love, they're gonna crave it, and literally in every single Korean community around the country, there is a Sundubu restaurant, always. And we're in Philadelphia, this place is one of those places. If you want to see more of my K-Town adventures, click right here. So this place is a melting of Jamaican flavors, Korean flavors, Korean dishes, Jamaican dishes.